you become one who is changed into the word spoken and this is what we're believing for the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstraw thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us now many of you are trying to believe for things and I'm all on board I'm good at believing for things I like to believe for things I like to agree with people that are believing for things but tonight I'm gonna to try to get you to believe for other things <laughs> and these things are different in light of the fact that we here believe the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we walk with him by saying words now if you believe that that's different that's different than what most people believe so obviously believing for things might be different for you than it is for other people well there are a lot of things freely given to us you understand that right yeah. you just open this book and there's a whole bunch of things that are freely given to us let's go to first timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world where this world rich in this world say rich in this world, in this world. that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy who is the living God the Holy Ghost in our day is the living God in the earth get that straight and what does he do he gives us richly all things to enjoy is that different mm -hmm. is that different than maybe what you were walking with and believing before mm -hmm. but it says here he gives you richly all things how many things is that all. that seems to be all say the holy ghost, the holy ghost. gives me, gives me richly, richly all things, all things. now that's a lot of things he's giving us things i call them us things he the holy ghost god in the earth today is giving you something giving you things you could say you things mm -hmm. you could say me things mm -hmm. they're me things things he's giving to me right it's something that he is giving us he's a living god and so it has to be coming from him if he's a living god and he's giving you something he's going to give you living he's going to give you living say me, me. Living. living and in that thing that he's giving you all things mm -hmm. first corinthians chapter 2 verse 12 now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of god or the spirit who is god we know that right mm -hmm. that we might know the things mm -hmm. yes. so we've received the spirit of god who happens to be the living god in the earth today that we might know the things and in the last verse we read richly all things he's giving us mm -hmm. are you here we are the ones who do the receiving of the Holy Ghost listen we're the ones who receive the Holy Ghost and know the Holy Ghost we are the ones to know the things so there are things coming from him that are freely given who are they given to you we've received him that we might know those things that he is freely giving to us yes. which things also we speak so the first change that happens to us when we learn about the living god whom we have received mm -hmm. god who we have received mm -hmm. right and he wants to give us things we start to speak 
the things or speak in agreement with the things that makes you different mm -hmm. did you see that in verse 13 which things also we speak it's the same we that received the spirit it's the same we that the holy ghost is trying to give the things to yes. that we is the one that speaks mm -hmm. if we want to receive the things we speak the things so we speak one of the first things we know about the holy ghost whom we have received is number one that he has things mm -hmm. you see that in verse 12 and then we speak the things yes. so we've already begun to change we've changed from someone who doesn't speak the things to someone who does speak the things are you here mm -hmm. say I've changed. I've changed that's different you've changed you've already come up a long way from where other people why because now you can you can you can know the things Amen. say I can know the things the things you're speaking you can know the things you're not speaking you'll never know so we've changed that's not something we used to do well here's the fact there are things that you can't know there are things that you can't see until you speak them and until you're changed and like i said the number one thing the number one change where you begin down this path is you begin to speak the things mm -hmm. right is that so difficult to understand you can't know certain things until you've changed mm -hmm. so until you are changed you can't see certain things you can't know certain things 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 what things the things that he's giving you can't know the things he's given you can't know well in the word spoken and we're talking about you speaking the word because we also speak in the word spoken are all things can you see this yes. we receive the spirit that we might know the things that he's freely giving mm -hmm. which things we speak the first change is that we speak them so in the word spoken are all things say that in the word, in the word spoken, spoken are all things. all things we're talking about believing for things you all right with us yeah. never underestimate the transforming power of the spoken word of God say transforming power, transforming power. so what is being transformed you you are being transformed when you speak the word you begin to know the things the things are given to you is this making sense mm -hmm. everybody wants their circumstance to transform but we're not talking about that i'm trying to get you to believe for other things say other things, other things. because when you believe for the things being transformed in you so you can know the things then the outside circumstance just takes care of itself get that straight when you speak the word of god it's transforming you what do you suppose it's transforming you into that word of god you will not be the same person when you speak the word of god and speak in agreement with his word you're transformed by the power that's in that word into a new person a person who can see something they didn't see before a person they could that could know something they didn't know before so let's say i'm speaking to prosperity scripture what happens to me i become a different person that can know prosperity in a way that i didn't know before right. what if i'm speaking healing verses of scripture then i will become a person who understands and sees healing like i didn't understand and see healing before wouldn't that be great yes. that's the reason certain people aren't healed yet they haven't seen it yet mm -hmm. that's the reason some people haven't got their money yet they haven't seen it yet but when they see it they get it mm -hmm. say when they see it, when they, see it they, get they get it so what's the problem they don't see it you become one who is changed into the word spoken and this is what we're believing for you're trying to believe for a manifestation of something whatever it is out there 
but the reality is you're changed into the thing see the Holy Ghost comes to give you things is this starting to make sense I feel like I'm gonna have to beat it but I, I know I'm gonna get there I'm real close but you're changed into the thing like he's coming to give us things he's coming to give us things he's coming to give you things and when you have the thing the other things just take care of themselves you become a healed person and sickness goes away Amen. you become a younger person and signs of age just melt away Amen. you become a wealthy person and poverty is afraid of you what happened he gave you things he gave you things living God gives you richly all things are you getting this mm -hmm. say I become a healed person, become a healed person. And, sickness and sickness leaves say I become a wealthy person, I become a wealthy person. Poverty, leaves. poverty leaves I become a youth renewed person, a youth renewed person. And, old and old age things leave he's giving you richly all things does this make sense mm -hmm. all right you become the one who's changed you become transformed into one who has the things does that make sense mm -hmm. I mean God isn't wealthy because he has wealth he's wealthy because he is wealth and wealth has to come to him you can take God the Holy Ghost and stick him into the midst of abject poverty and what's gonna happen wealth will show up mm -hmm. we have received him that we might know the things of God mm -hmm. say the things of God. things of God is this any good wouldn't it wouldn't it really help to know who the Holy Ghost is then yes. that he is he is pure prosperity he is pure health so we just read in first uh, Timothy 6 17 that the living God gives me or you richly all things say richly all things richly all things he gave you it to you he did something to you he took you from being a poor person and made you a wealthy person he's giving you the thing well he needs to give me a certain amount of money in my bank account well that comes after the fact that certain amount of money in your bank account will show up when you've known the thing that he gave you the problem is you don't know it yet because you haven't been changed yet it goes back to what we began with this on mm -hmm. and when you begin to speak a prosperity scripture living God gives me richly all things to enjoy and that becomes you that's his thing it's embedded in those scriptures you become a person who richly has all things to enjoy yes. does this make sense can you see sort of now what we're believing for we're not believing for the things we're believing for the thing that's, right. that's what I meant when I said I'm trying to get you to believe for other things because a lot of people have their eyes in the wrong in the wrong spot and the thing that they want they can't quite grasp it with their faith because they haven't been changed into the person that has those things yes. does that make sense yes you must be changed mm -hmm. proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 the blessing of the lord it maketh rich and he adds no sorrow with it the blessing of the lord it does something that's what maketh means mm -hmm. it does something who does it do it to mm -hmm. he's doing it to you he didn't say he'd make you win the lottery and then you become rich no he's doing something to you that makes you rich mm -hmm. the blessing of the Lord makes you something makes you something did it say the blessing of the Lord brings you something mm -hmm. brings me all the money brings me the right lottery ticket <laughs> Have you ever seen people that win the lottery what happens to them in like a year or two they're back to the same way they were before mm -hmm. because they weren't made rich they were just given a bunch of things That's right. but the Holy Ghost doesn't do that he gives you his 
things which makes you rich makes you rich and then it doesn't matter where you're at you rise to the top it's like a cork in the bathtub so it does something to you the blessing of the lord it does something to you it makes you you see that yes it's doing something to you it's changing you into it you put this verse of scripture in your mouth what happens mm -hmm. there's power in that word spoken mm -hmm. to to change to transform you the one speaking it into it you become a person with the blessing of the lord making you rich making you think rich thoughts making you speak rich words making you do rich things it's making you rich it's making you a rich person there's power in every word of god to bring itself to pass but what is it bringing to pass it's bringing to pass the transformation of you into it the thing said mm -hmm. so we saw proverbs 10 22 the riches are a result of you being changed if you were to confess that verse of scripture it makes you rich then riches on the outside are just a result of you being changed into a rich person people will literally think you're a rich person and they'll come up and give you money they'll put you in charge of their money because they think you're rich mm -hmm. you are rich mm -hmm. is that scripture based on what happens to be in your bank account at the time no the transformation is of you you're changed into it and by the way the Holy Ghost loves this he loves this transformation because you're being transformed into what he gave you what he gave you we've received the spirit of god that we might know the things freely given those are the things freely given get that straight those are the things freely given if you got up to this message and you have a somewhat of an idea what i'm talking about those are the things that he's freely given to you mm -hmm. those are the things you can believe for and can receive are you here yes. the problem we have we struggle with believing a lot of other things because we're believing for it we're believing for it I'm trying to exercise my faith when the reality is he's given you something that you can believe that just works say it just works because when I confess a scripture what's in that scripture but faith and the transforming power to reproduce itself in me I'm transformed into it I become a different person I start to think differently I start to act differently I start to look differently mm -hmm. and I joke I start to smell differently but you do you smell like a rich person <laughs> say I smell like a rich person you are changed into a person who gets it we've received the Spirit of God that we might know the things get the things understand that are you here yes. mm -hmm. you want to turn there Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18 for it is he that gives thee power to get wealth who's he giving the power to get wealth you he's giving you it's one of the things say things, things. that he's giving you yes. power to get it I get it now I didn't get it before mm -hmm. you're changed into a person who gets it the Holy Ghost gives you power to get it everyone wants money but few are willing to be changed into the person who gets it yes. he gives you power to get it he's changing you into the wealthy person who gets it does that make sense mm -hmm. he's not just giving you money we make the mistake of trying to believe for money 
right i'm not saying you don't I, I i've preached all the messages on that i'm trying to get you to believe for something else something listen that will take you farther than just believing for money this makes you someone who can go farther it changes you from one level to the next one level of glory to the next level of glory then you're changed mm -hmm. once you're changed you're changed right. now, i'm not going back mm -hmm. we go from glory to glory we do not just not not just your bank account right we go from glory to glory we go from being this kind of prosperous person to this kind of prosperous person which means you changed you're different now yes. say i'm different now, I'm different now. Uh, you went from this kind of person who got sick once a year to this kind of person who doesn't even think about it anymore you went from this kind of person who was under some kind of ailment and disease to this kind of person yes. a healed person yes. how'd that happen you changed you became a healed person we're not talking about the healing can you understand we're not talking about the healing yeah. we're talking about you being changed into a healed person mm -hmm. you see why god likes this so much is he wants you to be changed he wants you to be changed from glory to glory into his image second corinthians chapter 3 verse 18 but we say we, we we all with open face beholding as in a glass or a mirror the glory of the lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the spirit of the lord what are we changed into his image mm -hmm. is he the image of perfect health yeah. is he the image of perfect youth renewal yes. is he the image of pure prosperity yes. we go from glory to we do we're changed into that image mm -hmm. this is the thing that the holy ghost wants you to know are you all right with that yes. this is the thing that the Holy Ghost wants you to receive this is the thing that the Holy Ghost wants you to know his thing remember it said that we might know the things that are of God mm -hmm. being that mm -hmm. we're changed into that image you're not changed into a pile of money no. are you no. you're changed into the image of the thing you're changed into a person who is wealthy a person who is healthy a person who has their youth renewed am i getting this across yes. this is the thing that the holy ghost wants you to know that's the thing that you can believe for it's easy to believe for the thing you know he wants you to have what? it's his thing mm -hmm. say it's his thing. it's his thing that thing you can believe and will not grow weary in the quest say I shall, be changed. I shall be changed now do you see the difference between that being changed or just having your debts paid off or just having the new car or having the million dollars in the bank mm -hmm. it's different what you're believing for is him his things and you being changed into that so when you believe the scriptures and the words you say come to pass they change you what are they changing you into those words those scriptures can you believe that yes. you know why you can believe that because his faith's in that yes. you're not stretching your faith to try to believe for something he's already put his faith in that and when you use his words and believe they come to pass it's easy you don't grow weary because his faith is what's carrying you on right. i don't see myself the way i used to see myself i don't say myself the way i used to say myself if i confess the scriptures 
they change me and that's the thing that he's giving me mm -hmm. i become that yes. i'm telling you it's better than trying to believe for things mm -hmm. i guarantee you you start to get this moving in your life living god gives me richly all things to enjoy and you become someone who the living god is literally giving you richly all things to enjoy isn't that a better thing yes. to have than picking this and picking that Amen. all things work together for good for me yes. where would that come from a scripture yes. in my mouth mm -hmm. changing me into that mm -hmm. say changing me, changing into, me. That. into that this is how we do this is how we walk with the living god the holy ghost in the earth today by speaking in agreement with his word it changes us into his things and then we just live the things mm -hmm. now this can happen as fast or slow as you choose well how you say how you say well i'll tell you what's well, as fast or slow as you choose what do we say the first thing you had to do was speak, speak. You, mean you gotta speak it fast you gotta speak it real fast no but you can speak it more or less mm -hmm. and what's gonna happen you will change more or less so this can happen as fast or slow as you choose mm -hmm. depending on how attentive you are to saying his thing mm -hmm. you're different you've changed you ever heard anybody say that mm -hmm. you're different you've changed good that means they can start to see it you think differently you speak differently mm -hmm. you act differently you dress differently you carry yourself differently and something just plain different about you what is it you've changed you've come up a level in glory mm -hmm. what happened you started to experience the thing mm -hmm. what happens when you get healed you get healed mm -hmm. what happens when you get prospered you get prospered yes. what happens when you become a person whose youth is renewed your youth becomes renewed yes. is it are you getting this yes. so you confess the word and you confess the word and you confess the word the living God gives me richly all things to enjoy living God Holy Ghost I worship you gives me richly all things to enjoy living God Holy Ghost gives me richly all things to enjoy and as you're doing it it changes you into someone who the living God is giving richly all things to enjoy and you keep doing it you keep it there why wouldn't I keep it there that's who I am now Amen. Yes. it becomes easier that's what I'm saying you you can believe this and you won't go you won't grow weary in the quest because you've been changed does this make sense yes. Yes. and all of a sudden it becomes him speaking to you out of your own mouth the thing this shall be and you're like who said that oh you were saying it but he said it why because you're speaking his words mm -hmm. and you finally really got an agreement with him yes. and he's the living God God in the earth today mm -hmm. and you're beginning to experience the thing that he's giving you are you here yes. you have become one who possesses richly all things you have become one who possesses healing and perfect health you have become one who is experiencing and it has their youth renewed mm -hmm. you become one who is made wealthy by speaking in agreement with him mm -hmm. something changes what changes you changes and then something changes again are you ready for this i don't know if you're ready for it or not but i'm gonna say it anyway 
and then something changes again what do you think there's gonna be one little change and you're gonna snap and <laughs> that's it now we go from glory to glory and I don't think it stops yeah. right mm -hmm. so something changes in you and then some things aren't enough mm -hmm. having some things aren't enough because some things some mm -hmm. things didn't fulfill that scripture you were quoting living God gives me richly all things to enjoy and all of a sudden having some things wasn't enough something changed on the inside of you what happened you're becoming more like God don't look at me weird that's what do you think you're, you're supposed to be changed into his image right yes. right then some things aren't enough you know maybe you don't understand it yeah I'm just telling you this is what happens you keep going and something changes on and another change happens and then the sum isn't enough mm -hmm. living God gives me richly all things and then you begin to see something different that all things become your purview that's what's in your view that's where you're going say I am going, I am going to richly, richly all, things, all things to enjoy you know he shouldn't have written that verse of Scripture if that wasn't the thing he was giving you are you here that's what I'm saying that's what clicks on the inside of you is he puts that thing in you it is that thing that is all things mm -hmm. so two things aren't enough three things aren't enough that's right. but four things <laughs> also not enough say I must have, I must have all, things. all things where would that come from who would come up with some wacky idea like that I tell you who somebody who puts that verse of scripture in their mouth and says it day and night what happens to them they must have all things they become someone who must have all things and then what happens a certain kind of belief enters into you where there's no backing away I'm telling you this is what happens when you go to certain verses of scripture there comes a there there comes a belief that comes into you where there's no backing away there's no shadow of turning where did that come from mm -hmm. his faith he doesn't back away from it he believes it you think God believes these things yes. well then what's your problem if I believe them you should believe them the reason you don't is because you haven't had them in your mouth but when you put them in your mouth long enough you get that thing and a kind of belief that's in that thing that has no backing away has no shadow of turning in it and it shall come to pass and you shall be changed into it in fact the change has already begun thank you Holy Ghost that the change has begun in these people even as they heard those words they entered into them and the change has begun I thank you that things are being reordered on the inside of them and opening up a place for them to enter into the great things that you have already brought and are revealing to us in these last times and we give you glory and praise for it in Jesus name Amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I'm so happy that I know you and I've received you so that I can know the things you have turned me into a rich person and now I walk with you in the earth in wealth and riches that shall be in my house in Jesus name amen right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth today